Howdy, partners. How y'all doing? Take a look and see what just breezed in the door. I didn't know the circus was in town. So I've spent last two days by playing the recently released game Desperados 3. And after 30 or so gameplay hours, I think it's safe to say I know my cat. Now let's get to the review. By the way, hi, I'm Jake and this is Bozzy Gaming. I admit, I am a city slicker, but I love westerns. The American West is a disgusting, awful, dirty, dangerous place. Look around you. Everything out here that's not you wants to kill you. I think I have played most of the western theme games. Uh, so naturally when Desperados 3 came out, I was like, yippee ki -yay. Now, what is Desperados 3? It's a hardcore tactical stealth game. And let me emphasize the hardcore part, because this game is hard as bananas. That's what she said! <laughs> Uh, so you will need to go slowly and carefully, you will need to strategize, you will need to save the game as many times as possible. Because it's freaking hard. You are playing as a five member team where each member has its own skills and abilities. Since you are playing as all of them, you need to switch between the characters in order to combine their skills to stealthily lead them through the maps while taking down dozens of enemies and completing the missions. It may sound a bit complicated or tricky, but it's not. It's great. You have also something called Showdown Mode. That's uh, basically a planning stage where you can assign some action to each character and after triggering the showdown, every character will do what you have planned for him or her. So with that, you are basically controlling all of them simultaneously. Now let's check the characters. John Cooper, gunslinger and a leader of the bunch capable of stealth takedowns with his knife or killing two enemies at the same time with his two revolvers. Hector Mendoza, strongman carrying a huge bear trap, which is super fun to lure someone in and also he can slay the toughest opponents uh, with his trusty axe. Dr. McCoy or Doc McCoy, by the way, my favorite character of them all. Uh, he likes to be methodical, luring the enemies uh, using knockout gas, poison syringes and custom long-range pistol. Simply badass. Kato Hara, disguisable woman who can distract the enemy with her flirting and then kill them discreetly with her hidden gun. Isabel Moreau, voodoo woman from New Orleans using her magic to control, connect, distract and kill her enemies. Every character is unique and amazing and you will enjoy playing all of them. Now something bit technical about the game. The game looks awesome, it's detailed to the perfection. Uh, it gives you full control of the view so you can turn the camera, you can zoom in or zoom out, basically as you wish. The animations for every action are simply amazing and I can say after 30 hours I'm still finding myself looking at the game and thinking just wow. As for controls, you can easily control the game with mouse and keyboard and you can easily control the game with your gamepad. Actually, this is the first game where I feel that there is no actual downside to one or the other. I'm also greatly appreciating the little things, you know, the little things that uh, make this experience even better. Like for example, option to set up reminders to save the game, one button quick save, one button quick load uh, and many many more. Uh, those are the things that led me to believe that this game was actually developed by someone who knew what we gamers uh, are using and what we need. So thank you developers for that. The one negative thing I can say about this game is that it has no multiplayer. And it's pity because it's a good game and I would love to play it with uh, my friends. But unfortunately, nope, no multiplayer. So to summarize, this game is absolutely awesome. You know, it's beautiful, it's funny, it's clever, it's challenging. I think I have found one of my new favorites. So I have no choice but to give this game 90%. And it's only 90 because of the missing multiplayer. But I strongly recommend it to you all. Go, buy it, play it, enjoy it. This game is really great. 
and that's it for today thank you so much for watching if you want to see more content like this or if you want to see more content about gaming in general don't forget to subscribe to our channel hit that notification bell so you won't miss our new videos and uh, you can also follow us on all social media you can check our website where we have a blog and i'm off to wet my whistle now but i wish you guys good luck and i'll see you next time bye